This video is sponsored by PetFlow. For better access to me, join me on Patreon. I'll have a link in the description. Celebrity dog trainer and America's Got Talent sensation, Sarah Carson is here with her dog, Marvel, today. Today, we're gonna show you the main steps you need to take to make your dog a Frisbee superstar, from beginner to advanced, all in one video. Click thumbs up for Sarah Carson and her dog, Marvel. Subscribe to my channel and pick up a copy of my book for the complete guide to raising the perfect pet. There's no need to inconvenience yourself if you don't have to. Simplify your life and get your dog's food automatically shipped to you from PetFlow. You can have your dog's food automatically shipped to you in any time interval you want. You just choose your dog's favorite brand of food, decide how often you want it to be delivered, and enter code ZAC30 when you check out, and you'll get $10 off your first three orders. I'm gonna have a link and the details in the description. Sarah, Marvel is an incredible trick dog, but she does other things too. Tell yes, her favorite activity is playing Frisbee. Was Marvel always interested in toys, or did you really have to spark her interest in it? Marvel actually surprisingly would not even interact with a Frisbee when I got her, but she quickly grew to love it. Show us how you got her interested in the Frisbee, because that can be the toughest part sometimes. Totally. Um, I like to start with two Frisbees, so when she does have one, I can trick her with the other one to okay. try and get her to come back. You ready? We get her interested by just dragging it on the floor, get her going to chase it around, hopefully grabbing it. And so what should people do when their dog grabs onto the Frisbee? Um, you want to tug with it. Yeah. To make it really fun. A tug for so many dogs is so gratifying. It keeps the game so exciting. Yes. And so if you can really get a good game of tug going with the Frisbee, that's awesome. And then awesome. get her to drop it by showing you the other yeah, one. Yeah, nice work. <laughs> but you gotta watch your hands too, but her aim's pretty good. Yeah. And in general, it's not usually a good idea to use food when you're teaching something like Frisbee because most dogs are not going to be quite as amped up or as excited. And you really want your dog enthusiastic and excited about the game. So really getting them into that tug mode is a good idea for the vast majority of dogs. Don't be discouraged if you're working with your dog at home and they're just like, man, I'm not that into it. It's normal for it to take weeks, sometimes months with some dogs to get them interested in it. So once your dog's gotten interested in the Frisbee, you gotta teach them how to grab it. Again, we're gonna use two and we're gonna do something called takes. You want them to just take it without you having to move it around and make it all animated mm -hmm. and just get them to grab it while it's completely still. Get it. Yeah, there it is. get it. Yes, get it. Look at that. Get it. Man, you're get nuts, Marvel. It. Now is the pivotal moment where you actually attempt to get your dog to catch the Frisbee for the first time. Yep. But you know, a lot of people, they'll just go and throw the Frisbee. Explain what's wrong with that. Your dog has no idea what they're doing yet. <laughs> I mean, how are they supposed to know to chase it, hunt it down, grab it out of the air before it drops? Yeah. You really want to work up to it until your dog's catching it at one foot, two feet, three mm -hmm. feet, and so on. So you go from the takes to just hovering it in the same place. So your dog actually is still doing a take but it, you're not holding it anymore. And the hover throw is a little tricky sometimes if you're not used to it, so it takes a little bit of practice. Don't be discouraged if you can't hover it in place like that at first. And now the idea basically is to get them to do a take while you're not holding it. They almost accidentally catch exactly. it. Exactly. If your dog just goes for the disc in any way, you celebrate that as though they just made the greatest catch of all time. It's all about their effort, not whether or not they catch it. So we've gone over how to get your dog interested in the Frisbee, how to get them to take the Frisbee, and now they're catching it in the air. This next part is something that most people don't think to do. Yeah, the next step would be to teach my dog to go around me. Okay, and explain what's so important about that. You're setting your dog up, so when the dog runs around, they'll see the frisbee out here, and they'll run and they'll catch it. Yeah, so that they'll be encouraged to go in that straight mm -hmm. line when you do want to launch it 50 yards. Exactly. Or meters, as you say in Canada. <laughs> so if your dog's facing you, as most dogs do, and you go to throw it far, they do a quick, awkward turn that could be troublesome to many dogs. So yeah. it's good to just set them up straight. I taught it by just luring my dog with the frisbee. Okay. And I would reward them when they come around. So yeah, there good it is. Good girl. So, yes. and I like how you took a step back. You're not throwing yes. it. You're saying, come around, this is a new element. Yeah. Now take it, because that's really easy. Now that she's mastered come around, and take it. The idea is to see if she can catch it in the air. Look at that, yes! And of course, if your dog's doing this for the first time, you're just going crazy if your dog's catching yeah. a Frisbee like this. There's so many awesome tricks that you can teach with Frisbee, like a multiple segment, for example. That's where you rapid fire Frisbees one after the other. The first time I saw a dog do a multiple segment like that, I was hooked. I was yeah. like, that is the coolest thing. Well, but then I saw a foot stall. Yeah. 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 This is a creative move right here, having her balance on your thigh while you do a multiple segment. 
And teaching your dog multiples like this, that's just one of many things you can teach your dog. You can teach him how to leap off your body to catch a frisbee while being completely airborne. It's amazing. You can teach him how to vault, how to flip and catch the frisbee. I mean, your imagination is the only limit when it comes to this. That's why it's one of my absolute favorite activities to do with dogs. And it really gets them to be stimulated mentally and physically. You can keep them fit and exercise. And when you have a really high drive dog like Marvel, that's not really negotiable. That's required. I know. I get you, don't I? I know. You can help support these videos by joining our Patreon community. I'll have a link in the description, but click thumbs up for Sarah Carson and her dog Marvel. Subscribe to my channel and pick up a copy of my book too for the complete experience to learning how to teach your dog just about everything. Good job, Marvel with fist bump. Hey, nice work. <laughs> I'll, I'll reward that.